Mac Buckley here with the UCCS Athletic Network. Here we have head coach Lynn Plett after a big win for the starting of the conference games between UCCS and Black Hill State Yellow Jackets. Hey, coach, how does that make you feel starting off the conference games with the win? Oh, it's, it's good, obviously, and coaches are never satisfied, obviously, but still um, to be able to get one and get one very handily, at least at the end we started playing even better. And that's that's always a nice thing too. So it was it's great to get a first win in a conference, no matter what. And at home, it's really fun too. Yeah, being at home in the Gallagher Event Center, having that 12th man, just so much fun. I mean, you guys had a long preseason, but getting right into it against Black Hill State, they had several players and several matchups that were they were trying to throw at you. A couple of seniors on that team, but you just seemed to be relentless as far as putting on different players to counter that matchup. What was your idea with those substitutions coming in and out of the floor? as many as they did well a lot of it's just because when they get fatigued and so it, that was part of it and when we start seeing somebody either getting fatigued or maybe maybe losing a little bit of their focus and stuff too it's uh you try to get somebody in for them and the nice thing about it is that we've got some pretty good depth that allows us to do that and especially when you know now the conference play has started with the friday saturday back-to-back games it's going to be even more important for us to use the bench as much as we can joey came in in the first half and did a great job and jenna played pretty solid all the way through the game and so it's really good when you can get a couple of players or some players off the bench maria got some good rebounds so when you get contributions like that off the bench it really helps yeah coach and talking about just players off the bench the reason I, we were asking that is because you had 25 points just from the bench alone and when you have players that not are just starters but coming off the bench just fresh they're able to put those points in for the team that's really contributes to the success and then talking about defensively you guys started off great as far as the amount of turnovers they seem to increase a lot that third quarter with the full court press from the Black Hills State Yellow Jackets what was the mentality what were you trying to change up for um, your look that you were giving them? Well, we weren't really. We were trying to actually, we are trying to incorporate a more of a philosophy of somebody presses us to attack them even more. And that's, I think, different from maybe their mindset because we got a little passive and we started making some lob passes. We started not attacking the other end of the court and their press got to be pretty effective. We ended up, first half, we turned the ball over five times, which is really good. Second half, we turned it over 11 times. And so a lot of it had to do, I think we lost some focus and we lost that intent of really trying to push the ball up the floor and attack uh, when when players or when teams try to press us like that. And so uh, it's another thing. Hopefully that's something we, we can take away from this game and learn. Yeah, that's a good counter. No, just you know, countering attack with another attack there. Coach, talking about a couple players that were not on necessarily on the bench last week, but Brittany Hernandez stepping up 21 points, Jen Vigil 17. I mean, seniors are shining, but, I mean, also you mentioned Chelsea Pearson coming off the bench, Joey Sale, all these players contributing. How does that, knowing that from your perspective with the matchups that you can put anybody out on the floor and they'll still be successful scoring points and defensively for you. We're, we're still trying to figure out, uh, you know, what our strengths, individual strengths and weaknesses are too, so, to some degree. So when we figure out uh, even more so what our roles are, um, good example is Maddie today, Gabler. I mean, she's really a good, solid defender for us, and she did a great job on one of the seniors, one of their leading scorers um, tonight on, on her. And so that's... Uh, that's that's really that's really really important for us. But again, going back to what you said about like Brittany, she just brings a, a sense of confidence back on the court. You know, with the rest of the players, just know what she's done in the past, and they kind of rely on her maybe too much sometimes. But it was really good for her to see finally. I think she felt better about the fact that she actually scored tonight. And, and Jen has been really consistent for us. She, she only played four minutes in the first half, and so in the second half she played the entire second half. But because uh, she got in foul trouble in the first half. But again, you know, the, those three seniors, and, and again, even County Tory, nine rebounds and nine points. I mean, it's almost as close as you can get to a double, <laughs> double, double, not getting there. So uh, those three are really catalysts for us. I mean, they're really leaders for us, and, um, and they're doing a really consistent job for us. So. And being those pivotal players, making those plays just offensively and defensively, huge blocks tonight. I mean, Anna Schwecki coming up with blocks, Brittany Hernandez, um, Tori Fisher, just talking about how it was an offense and defensive minded game. Coach, in utilizing your full um, bench to your advantage, how does that also play a factor, knowing you have to be strong offensively and defensively, knowing these are conference games? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, and that's, 
Um, everybody's got to be ready to go because we even talked about it a little bit briefly at the end of the ball game. Not everybody is going to have a good night every night, and so we need to find out who those players are that are on track. And, and try to utilize them from night to night. And so the nice thing, again, like you mentioned, Mac, about having a depth is we can kind of experiment a little bit in the first half and see. And when we get a, a, you know, a lift like we got from Joey and even, you know, even I think Maria, too, gave us some really good offensive and defensive rebounds and things like that, too, that just sparks everybody. And Joey's one of these players, too, that everybody loves. I mean, Joey, there's, there's not a negative bone in her body. And when she scored, the whole bench just erupts. So when those kind of things, those emotional lifts on a positive, note are really really good for us too and coach talking positively about that one it is um did get the win still early in conference season gonna go back to back games tomorrow against south dakota mines i know it's a quick turnaround but uh, mentally preparing for that um what's going to be a big factor going into that game well really again my philosophy is a little different than some because i even telling the girls last night we're going to watch a little film tomorrow but uh we're going to take care of as coaches what i can tell them and show them what they need to do as far as what the opponents do we need to the girls need to focus Focus on what they're doing and what they're doing correctly and what they're doing incorrectly. So uh, tomorrow, to prepare more than anything else, we're going to look at kind of what we did tonight and say, okay, look, see that gap? You could have penetrated into that gap. See that pass there, how open it is. If we swing the ball one more time, they can enter the ball to the post. Defensively, we didn't box out in the second half very well, and they got right back in the game, I think, on their offensive rebound. So to be able to point some of those things out and for them to see some of those things hopefully will be beneficial and, and, and end up in a positive note, hopefully. There you have head coach Lynn Plett after the first conference win against Black Hill State will be taking on South Dakota Mines tomorrow night at 5.30 in the Gallagher Event Center. Mac Buckley here with the UCCS Athletic Network. Thank you so much, Coach. Thank you, Mac.